Hello and welcome back to Cube! I figured out that the reason the FOV was changing back was not because of changes in sectors, it was just because I, I quit the game and like loaded the save a couple times and every time it does that it seems to reset, which is fine, but now I know. And I also managed to like make a bind out of it instead of having to type it in console every time, so great! Now we started up back here and I am unsure if like me going into the wait that one yeah that's the suspicious one I don't think going in there and solving it like did anything in terms of progression like oh later on if you find a second secret then you have to have solved the first one or it doesn't appear or something like that I don't think that's a thing because it just loaded me back here so I'm not sure if it like counts as me having completed that maybe not but I'm just gonna hope for the best. We'll maybe have to replay it if something were to happen like that. But yeah, I just want to like just look around this room, make sure I don't miss anything. I probably am not. As I said last time, it's very, very unlikely that there would be another secret right here. But, you know, I don't want to just rush through everything and not pay attention to my surroundings and stuff. And yeah, we can't, like, get up into the light stream. What is that even? It doesn't look like light. It looks like flat textures that are, like, repeating and being sent this way. That's very strange. It's like one solid texture. I don't know. That's, that's odd. It's an odd way of doing lighting. But yeah, nothing much. So now we have magnets. I'm assuming when I press the magnet button, the uh, gravity for the green block is going to change depending on which one I press. So, like, I want to press this one to pull it this way, but then how do I, like, stop it? Maybe I can click it again? Yep, that's it. All right, I get it. So you just pull it left or right, and it doesn't stop. Uh, like, it's still unlocked even though we... Uh, got it out of the light beam and for some reason it shoots up I don't know why that is like why does this shoot the light beam up and not like right or left or down or something maybe it's always up and then we can oh use the uh, the box oh that is weird yeah look at that what I'm holding what what the heck I'm holding forward that entire time that is very strange. Wait, is that just because of the, uh, the light beam? Nope. That's just the block itself. I'm not moving anything. I'm just holding W and it just eventually, like, lets me go. That is odd. Don't know what's up with the physics on that one. Um. Oh! Oh, I see. And I guess the, uh... The green block doesn't have, like, gravity? Let's see. No, it does. Okay. Oh, so I need to, like, get it to just land on here. Okay, that's not too bad. So I do that, and then pull it over here. And then just rest it on top there. Yeah, okay. And now we have to get up. Which I can do. But now... Wait. Yeah, how do you... How do we get up there? Huh. I mean, I... My first thought is just like, uh... Also, there's no reset button in this, which is kind of weird because it's always like... Uh, not always. It's already slanted or pushed a little bit to the side. Oh, and things like that can happen, but I guess that's fine. So I'm thinking just placing it on here. Let's just make it. Nope. Can't do it very quick. All right. Ah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm thinking 
we want to like shoot up with this or shoot it up in the sky kind of it like fl flew up a little bit I think and then pull it immediately maybe so let's see yeah something like that but maybe not or maybe we just let it yeah okay we just like let it land but then how do we get up on it I can't jump that high What? Is... Is that intended? It... What? That can't be right! But I don't see any other way of doing this. But that is an incredibly weird mechanic, if that's actually what you do. Like, you can just... Teleport onto green blocks? That is super odd. You can't, like, pick them up or anything, right? No. Yeah, I don't quite understand that. That was that was odd. Now we can pull it up. I see, and we have to like push it over. I get it. Wait, hold on. Um I kind of get it, but not entirely. Cause we need to uh We need to like push this out. Like that, and then one more. Uh, actually, this should be fine, but I'm gonna let it go. And then we uh, pull that out, one, let it pass, and then let it fall onto it, and then we pull... nope. Well, I mean, that's gonna work. That's not really what the puzzle was about, but you you know what I was doing, that like... It would have worked either way. Yeah, there we go. But again, we need to get up. And I guess we do that by pushing it this way. Like so, and then we drop it, and then we just stand- Oh god, bouncing a little bit. We just stand on it and write it up. Yeah, that's not bad. Hold on. Let's save the power. Not drain the entire facility of it, all its- Gravity juice. Make sure to flip that switch off. Okay. And now we have two we have to control at once. I see. Okay, so we need to, like, use these pillars to line them up exactly... Seven blocks apart-ish? Hmm. So, don't I just do this? Like that? Oh, yeah, pretty much like that, and then just... This? There we go, and they're both lined up, and then we move these down. Like so, and then we just raise them up. Oh, no! Why does that happen? They're so weird and, like, bouncy. Alright, do it again. Please don't bounce. Why? I don't get it. That's so stupid. That's just annoying, honestly. That's just like physics bullshit. That's not... I'm solving the puzzle right. I know I am. That's the only way to solve this puzzle, and... It's just being kind of dumb. Alright, new plan. To get it, like... Not... Slightly on the right. Let's just pull it... In here. And now that they're lined up... Let's pull them to the left first, then pull these down, then line this up. Is that still gonna, like, fly off to the left? Yeah. That's... God damn it. I actually kind of hate this. This is really bad. I hate, like, inconsistent puzzles, where it's just based on, like, random physics whims. Oh, man. Well, just have to get it just right. If my fucking left hand would just fuck off, I... Thank you. But it's gonna come back, yeah. I just can't, like, see when it's on the fucking block because of my hand. Nope, that that would not work. I needed, like, 
perfectly centered. And even then, I'm not sure if it's going to work. That wouldn't work. God, I wish you could turn off the fucking hand. Is that fine? I don't think it's going to be fine. Okay, it's fine. Jeez. You gotta give me this one, right? You gotta accept that this is a bad puzzle. That this is just poor game design. This is just bad, alright? Right? Come on. This is not good. Oh, man. Like, I get the puzzle and it's a good puzzle, but it's just implemented so jankily or whatever. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I don't know about this either. Please, please just stay there. Oh my god, thank you. And now, we have to get up there. Which means we have to make like a staircase kind of thing. Like... Is that gonna be fine? I mean, I, I- Oh, right, I can just like, uh... I can just lower this one, get on top of it, then raise it up. I was gonna like, make a staircase and then jump on this one, fly them over, and then jump onto the next one, but you don't have to do that. You can just get onto one of them and... No, you can't. Because I need to stack them, I see. Okay. This is a pretty nice addition to the puzzle, assuming... Oh god, no, it's not a nice addition, because holy crap, this is gonna be so annoying. This is never gonna work. They're gonna just, like, fuck up completely, right? Please, go, go. I think it worked. First try, holy crap. There we go. Saving power. Attractive achievement. I'm assuming that's just like, do this thing. Yeah, just complete the, the puzzles. Nothing like special that I did. Oh man, all right, even more. Now there are, oh, I see. So now we can flip and choose whichever gravity or direction we want to pull the blocks. And we need to have them sort of like stacked on top of each other, maybe? But how do you do that without... No, I see. There one needs to be, and then here the other one needs to be. Okay. But how do you do that with one, like, gravity? Because this one needs to be pulled... Oh, let's try. If I turn on gravity and then rotate it... Okay, yeah. Yeah, they do, like, adapt to it. That's kind of bad. That's what I wanted not to happen. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't work. Um. That's not... What? Yeah, exactly. That wasn't supposed to happen. And you just can't retry these puzzles. That's kind of annoying. I saw something someone mentioned about... Did I mention that this game has very janky physics? Oh my god, this is... this is weird. What the heck? Um... I saw someone mention that they had, like, made a keybind for just resetting the current level. Apparently that's that's like a thing you can do in the Unreal Engine, but they just never implemented it as an actual like Mappable key even though it, it's there you can do it. So maybe I'll have to look into that and like Find a way to just reset the chamber instead of having to quit out and load in every time and change my FOV and stuff Maybe I have to do that anyway But seriously how? Because if I do it here that wouldn't work. And this is not enough. Like, I'm trying to think... Th 
this can fly both upward and oh yeah yeah we have to leave we have to end with a gravity or a magnetism whatever going this way because this one can fly into the wall here just fine and this one can fly into this yellow thing so that's fine that's what we need to do but I've kind of fucked it up already by uh, separating them or like messing up their spots a bit maybe I can still do this by just doing this and then turning it like that oh shit oh shit that's pretty close Ah, uh, that's pretty close, but it's not quite there. They need to go up a little bit, but I can't do that. Actually, turn it off. And then... How long do they need to be, like, in the thing for? Because if I just do... Not that. This, and just... Pull them up, they would both go into the thing. But maybe not for long enough. Oh, shit. Okay. Nope, I need to redo this. But I think I'm on the right track. There we... What? Oh yeah, okay, that's one. But now, we pull this up. And it flies to the side, and then we push it down again. There we go. Yeah, cool. All right, that one had a surprisingly low amount of janky physics-ness. And that's a sector complete. All right. Sector five. Which apparently was... was the last thing I did when I played it before, but I don't remember this at all. Well, game over. Goodbye. Can I move? No, I can't. It's a cutscene. Ow. Achievement unlocked. Sector 5 complete. Now my suit is blue? Wasn't it white before? And now, are we gonna be in the, like, broken down parts of the factory? Oh, dear. Is that Wheatley? Or is that a fucking bomb? What was- what? Hi. What the heck? What was up with that? What was that supposed to signify? Alright. Guess we'll just walk forward. Are these- are these balls, like, alive? Oh my god! Wait, what? You're not telling me I can, like... Oh, I need to get it there? I was thinking I could, like, fucking swing across this. Nope, you can't. Oh? And yeah, I guess I should be on the lookout for, uh... See... Um... Really? Really? What the heck? Why, though? But why? That's... I guess just because it was easier... Oh! For the level geometry? Yeah, I definitely want to be on the lookout for secret portals and stuff like that. Oh! Interesting. But this is where I came from, right? What is going on? It's like breaking more and more the more I just go back and forth? Huh. And again? Nope, nothing just yet. And these blocks are not... Oh, they're... Th 
physics blocks. Oh, they can bounce. Sometimes. Not always. Can I push them? No. That's odd. Alright, but I assume you need to get the, the wire thing to touch right there. Yeah, okay. What did that do? It powered up the block. I see. So that's like a new mechanic now. And why am I chasing this ball? Why do I want to chase the ball? And I didn't fully explore down here, so I'm going to jump down. Well, I guess I fully explore down here. Yep, that was it. All right. But why is my suit blue now? I thought I had, like, new powers. Like, powers that wouldn't be using the blocks, but instead using the balls to, like, pull them around or something. And do any of the corners look weird? Apparently not. Nope. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought nothing was happening. Power shortage? I'm assuming portals are like... They would all look kind of the same way with a... Like, wonky... Wibbly wobbly timey wimey or whatever the quote is. Stuff. Okay, so this one is blue. What does that mean? And how can I even... What? Yeah, I can, I can do that to get it, like, swinging. Oh, wow. That seems highly unlikely to happen. Like that, I just got really lucky. But maybe not. Ah. Wow, okay, I guess this is all, like, scripted and made sure to work, I hope. Can I jump around this corner? Oh, you have, like, no air strafing at all. Well, well, do you have some air strafing? Let me check. Ooh, I, I kind of want to just try that a couple times, just to see if you can, like, skip this entirely. Oh, it's close. It's very close. Kind of doesn't seem like you have air strafing. I'm trying to try both, both using a uh, holding W down and letting it go. So like source strafing or just like strafing in general. One last try. Ah, that was a good one. But no, doesn't seem like you can do that. Maybe you can air strafe a little bit and there's just an invisible wall here because you're not meant to go there and you're meant to just land on the thing. Do I want to do it from, like, down here? Does that matter? Does it matter if you drop down onto a blue thing? Does it, like, account for your momentum? I actually don't know. But here we are. New puzzle. And I guess that might be a pretty decent time to end it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, we'll figure out more of these... Weird power fluctuating puzzles next time. And hopefully not have too much physics wonkiness. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.